What is up guys? Just ended the other video. Um, we're still we're literally in the same exact spot doing the same thing. Um, we're actually get doing, as you can see, we have a little conversion kit here. It looks pretty cool. It's like a matte smooth finish. Um, we are taking out the radio and we're putting in a touch screen. So that's gonna be cool. I'll show you guys that real quick and then we're gonna get straight into it. I got uh, this little um, an antenna. Is I think it's an antenna cord. I could be wrong. Don't don't uh don't quote me on that one. But uh, yeah, got this. Got this a thing. Got little brackets in there. Uh, got some wiring harness and stuff. Some wiring kit. Um, I think that's it for there. So I'm gonna pull it out of the box to let you guys see it, and we're gonna install it. Alright, guys. So I went with the Pioneer. Uh, head unit. Uh, I don't. I'm trying to think of what it was. It was the Bluetooth version. Got some cords here. We'll have to figure all that out. Some bolts and stuff. Um, a mic, because you can call people with it, but I probably would never use that. And another cord. Don't really know what this one's for. Re system remote control, we don't have that. Reverse gear signal. See, we won't be probably using that hookup. And here we go. Let's see. Maybe this will have what it is, which one I got. Um, two uh, right here. I got the AVH 290 Bluetooth one. So that's the one I went with. And hold on, I'm gonna pull it out real quick. All right, so got this is the one we went with, guys. Right here, all little touch screen buttons, touch screens, 6.2 inch screen, I believe. Here's the back of it. We're going to see how much we can get done on this. Hopefully I can get it finished up today. Uh, it's pretty nice. Looks pretty clean. My friend has, uh, I believe, the same one. And I really like his head unit. So went with it. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get it installed. i got to look at some stuff. Look how brackets hook up and all this stuff. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully we can get it done. I don't know how long it's going to take. But um, I'm going to start splicing wires and stuff. We're going to get right into it. Um, I'm just going to start taking everything apart and hopefully we'll get it done. Just to give you an update of where we're at. Sorry, it's like hard to get these shots and stuff on what I'm doing because of what all you have to do. Now, I did end up changing this front already. So let me show you guys. See, if you look down in there, the little tabs have look, like they look like they're burned. Because the factory, when they do put that on there, they melt them down to like weld them together and I have like a little uh I just got like a little torch lighter and held the torch lighter to it for a second had a knife and just twisted it very easily when they were melted and popped them all off all the way around and then the new company when you put this aftermarket piece on give you these little stems and you just screw them down on there makes it a lot easier if you want to change it and everything else just bolts on just like it did screws right on there and that's all done and for the radio I put all the brackets on for how it mounts up to right here and uh, now I'm gonna take the radio out and start hooking everything together trying to get it all done um, it's actually it's it's not hard but you just have to have some patience with stuff and just go from there and like that is the front actually looks pretty sweet on here uh it used, it used to be that like weird text like weird uh like um surface and now it's just like this smooth matte black finish looks really good it's probably gonna look super good with the radio in there i'm gonna clean it all up when it's all put in everything's gonna get wiped down so yeah i'm gonna get to taking this radio out i hope i explained that to you guys um enough to like where you understand it and uh, again, if any of you guys have any comment or uh, questions about how to do something, just let me know and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Um, so yeah, we're going to get to taking the radio out and slipping this new one in here. I read some stuff saying you might have to cut this shelf out, which 
I really hope I don't have to. So yeah, we're gonna hopefully I don't cut that out because I don't want to make a mess in the truck and I just don't want to do that. So we're gonna try to get in there without doing that and um, see what we can get done. We are gonna have to end up cutting this out. I don't know how far. Just kind of bummed out. I didn't want to do this. Um, shit. Uh, we're just gonna cut it down to maybe mid section. And I'm gonna cut it straight across here and then back up. Hopefully that's enough. <sighs> we're gonna try not to make a mess in here. And uh, I'm just gonna get back to you guys after I get it all cut out. And then I'm gonna show you guys uh, installing the installing the radio. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. So I was sitting here looking at this for a while, and I was like, "How am I gonna get all these wires to figure out where they go on that?" And I was like. Uh, this is, I'm not going to ever figure this out. But then, this adapter came with the center here. This center came, the dash piece came with this adapter, the antenna adapter, and the radio mount. So it pretty much gives you every single thing you're going to need. And all these are color coordinated to everything on the back of here. So everything that goes here goes right there on that. Very, very simple. I'm going to hook everything up right now. And, uh... I'm going to show you guys, hopefully if everything works, I'm going to show you guys the finished product. Um, I'm also going to run an aux, like this has an aux right there, an aux port. And I'm going to run it behind here and it's going to come out in this little t tray right here. It's just going to sit in there, like I'll probably Bluetooth most of the time, but like you know, never know. That aux might come in handy, so I'm just going to have it there. I'm not hooking the mic up, don't really, I'm not really worried about that. And um... Yeah, I'm going to hook all these up, and everything should be good after that, and I'm going to show you guys the end product. Uh, so here it is installed. It works really good. Um, I mean, when you snap it, you're going to make it say, where'd you get that? Save your cash for the beach and get your... Sounds really good. I was messing with it. got the date and time and stuff all hooked up. All that stuff. For the most part, everything works really good on it. Um, all this, everything's working, so that's a good sign. Here's a finished thing of everything. There's the blue lights. Oh, oh, I don't know why I did that. There's the blue lights. Radio, and then there's gonna be blue lights there. So, that's pretty much gonna do it for today, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a last finished thing of like when I get it all hooked up and then we're gonna end this video out. Just wanted to show you guys what it looked like right here, and the next clip you're going to see the end. Alright guys, this is the finished product. Looks super good. And that's how you convert to a touchscreen and all blue lights. So, um, hope you guys liked the video. More to come, lots more to come actually. We're just getting started, for real. Um, Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. The next video, it's going to be a big one. That's all I got to say. So, yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.